life, life is like that. Yes, sir. All right. Alex, I sent you an invite. That's weird. I was getting confused because people kept saying that it was 6 o'clock, but for me, right now, well, I don't know. I was getting confused. Yeah, Eastern time. Way. You have to get them fixed by Cephalon, whatever. It's a it's a I quest. Some Cephalon, Samar. I don't know. It's a quest. It's a. I don't know how to get them fixed, but he still says stupid shit. You can turn them off and play music instead, or you can listen to the radio. But I don't know. It's the Jordan's precept, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I'm doing that quest right now, but it's. Mm-hmm. I'm going to the dojo right now. I'm in the dojo, but I can't find the council room. Like, I know where it is, I just... Just go to a teleporter and hit the bridge. Or the... Alright. Uh, Alright. It's a strange way to talk. I'm here. Welcome. I'm getting there now. Take my dog off. I don't want to run him around. How many people are in the dojo right now? Uh. Like four? Yeah. Or five and no, six people. Six people, including uh, including me. Now there's but seven two people. people the, two people aren't in the room. What's up? What's up? Five people. That's a good meeting. That's a good. I'm I'm happy with this number. That's not sarcasm, by the way. I'm legitimately happy. Yeah, pretty much. T minus one minute. Don't worry. Um, everything's going to be thoroughly explained and all your questions will be answered. We got, I wouldn't say a lot to cover, but there's a good chunk of what I want to say. Um, it's mainly dating about the clan event, so all fun stuff, hopefully. And a little bit of voting as well. So if you're here, you get to vote. And especially talking about ranks, too, um, and how we're going to 
go about those, but nothing too in depth. You can get him from the Damn. sortie. You get. Is there any other way I can farm them? I'd say you're. It's, it's kind of like a chance type thing. Yeah, the sortie is the best bet. I think I'm not too sure. No, I think so too. Cause all of the ones that I've gotten recently have been from there. Mm. And I got a few from. Um, Neptune on a different mission. I, do, I was just looking in the lockers trying to find some stuff and just. Oh, those are the uh, actual, like, um, not the actual Real sculpture, stuff. though. already and we're basically again we're just gonna jump into it and talk about the clan event I do want to give a chance to let people uh, think about this so it's gonna be in the back of our minds while we uh, go about actually placing the date because I'm not gonna do this clan event if we only get three people to show up there's gonna be three prizes for a second third place so I'm, I'm I'm wanting at least 10 people to come to this clan event. That would be awesome. There's like seven people in this chat right now. We just need to get three more clan members. Blue's already coming. He's uh, pretty much my second in command, but he's not been in command lately. He's been busy, but that's fine. It's just because getting everyone scheduled together is the hardest part about being coordinated in this community. So it's all about talking what is the best day the best time for everybody i know weekdays school I already canceled that out all right so we're talking about week nights if there's a friday night or a saturday night or maybe sunday evening what times are best for a clan event and to talk about the clan event a little bit all it's going to be is one side of the dojo there's a long hallway right and it's gonna be one side of that hallway. It has obstacles in that hallway to make it super, super hard. I'll take you guys to it after the uh, event's over to show you what that actually looks like if you wanna get some early practice in. But it's one side of the hallway to the other side of the hallway. First person to get to the end wins. First place, 500 platinum. Second place, 300 platinum. Third place, prime Warframe set. Maybe I'll throw in a prime weapon set if you don't want the Warframe set. But um, that's what the event is right now. If you guys want to talk about it and debate about it and change that a little bit, you can. But um, what do you guys think about as far as dates go? I would say Sunday. What? Like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday would be good times. But I think I, I think I know a good time that would be great for everyone. But like seven to seven thirty, because that's like universally where everybody else wakes up and you're not busy. <laughs> I feel like I, feel, I agree with him because everybody is in like different time Thank zones you. and stuff and it can get confusing and frustrating. I agree. Um, and Saturdays and Sunday evenings are the best for me. Uh, I'm free on Saturday as, as well. I'm free on any weekday. Like, all day, every day. <laughs> I'm not in school right now. All right, that's good to know. So Saturday is probably the day we're going to be doing most of our clan meetings, most of our clan events, I guess, if that day is best for everybody. Saturday is get your butt on Warframe and be a part of a clan event. You don't have to come to these clan events. They're not required. But you get a big chance of winning Platinum if you win, and why not, right? So all it is is what... um definitely in the evening I have work Saturdays myself get out at 4 p.m. so anything around 5 plus 
we can always rearrange the date if anything weird comes up for a majority of the people. One of the days, if you're sick of doing it on Saturdays, we might switch it to Sundays. So it's up to you guys to communicate with me and let me know which days are always best for you. Um, again, continue. Right. Just trying to like, get different events. No, yeah, there's going to be plenty of different events. And every meeting will have ideas for events and whatnot. As long as you come to the meetings, you'll get to decide what the clan does for events, how the clan changes in its rules and structures. If you want, the higher the rank you get in the clan, the more votes you get and the more say you have in the clan. So that's why I highly encourage people to rank up right now. There's three ways you can rank up. There's not only one way you can rank up, there's three ways. You have three jobs. You can either be a recruiter, a donator, or a promoter. And all those rules are in Discord under the general ch text channels. There's clan rules, recruitment rules. The clan rules are what everyone has to abide by. And rank responsibilities, I hope everyone abides by those, but not everybody does. And we'll talk about that in the future. But the clan rules are basically what everyone needs to know and recruitment rules are how you get promoted by being a recruiter donator rules are how you get promoted by being a donator uh, promoter rules are how you get promoted by promoting others and if you promote people in the clan like help them get their promotions have protégés we'll talk about those you'll get extra like points and be able to be promoted even faster if you have two protégés under you who become a captain you become an admiral that's as simple as that. So if you have any questions about these, they're kind of complicated in a sense if you don't know too much about hierarchies, but it's straightforward after I explain it. So for the promoter one, is that something that you get after the fact? Like after you get to a high enough rank? Or is that for any rank? So that's basically once you become um, that's, uh, there's certain rules when it goes to it. Anyone, any, you have to be a sub-lieutenant, first of all. And when you enter the clan, you automatically start off as an ensign, unless you're in Discord. So only people in Discord can really go through the pro become a promoter. And all it is, is if you're a sub-lieutenant and you get another person to join Discord, you can become a lieutenant. It's as simple as that. Like, that might be too easy, but for now, that's how it is until one of you guys says that's too easy, everyone votes on it, and then whoever wins, wins, basically. And every time we come to meetings, we vote. And if you're not in the meeting, you're not in the meeting. Come to the next one. Hopefully, we change it back. That's basically what the clan is. And sometimes we'll vote where we can't. We might say, okay, this is too complicated. We will vote to make sure you can only change the rules once a month. That's how the voting works. You have to be a part of the meeting, be a part of the clan to decide what the clan actually does. Some people like it, some people don't like it. It's up for you guys to decide. And if you don't, then whatever. It's Life goes on. But being a part of promoter rules, it's as simple as once you get someone in the clan and get them on Discord, you're a lieutenant now. Once you, to become a commander, you have to get a protege of a lower mastery rank, and your goal is to help him become a commander. Once he becomes a commander through getting another guy that he recruited on Discord, he'll become a lieutenant and then doing whatever in the donator, whatever rules. Just because he becomes a commander, you become a captain. So that's the easiest way to become a captain without uh, do donating or without recruiting just by getting other people to commander you'll become a captain and then you'll get to a vote uh, two votes or what whatever the system is set up at the time that's how many votes you get based upon your rank the way it's set up right now is only um, captains get one full vote commanders get a tenth vote one tenth vote right and it might be wrong but that's how the last hierarchy of people voted it in and the command uh above a captain admirals get 1.5 votes vice admirals get two votes 
and I get one vote. So that's what it is at this current second and definitely is wrong in my opinion but we can all discuss that later time. Seven o'clock, six o'clock, we'll, we'll keep that in the back of our head of when we really want to plant this uh, clan event and what day exactly next week or fucking whenever so keep that in the back of your head as we go over um, the next topic which if I can find it um, basically the dojo um, I I really this is our priority we're a, sh a storm clan right now and our priority is to become a mountain clan before FYI a little information the second we become a mountain clan Everything in the dojo is gonna cost a fuck ton more three times more four times more just to like if a decoration cost a hundred Fear right to make it's gonna cost five thousand fear right to make that's just like if it's some of a room to build cost a forma and whatever It's gonna cost three forma and whatever just to become a and then it doubles quadrillion times when you become a moon clan so before we upgrade to become a mountain clan it is imperative that we get all of our pigments as many pigments as possible done even the hard ones like Zanuka you thought getting a hundred pigments was hard imagine if it was a thousand or four thousand like F no hell no am I doing that much work so we, we have to bust our butts off now get as many people together in the clan now to work for the clan so we can just party and do cool clan events and focus on PvP when they come out with the arm assist is over hopefully because the dev stream said that they were bringing that back one day so hopefully we get as much decorations and as much research done as now not only pigments but decorations I want you guys to get your ranks up so you can decorate the dojo as whatever way you want it as long as you're not deleting decorations have no problem with people putting whatever wherever and talking about giving people clan rooms your own room to decorate the own your own way once you reach Admiral but um it's up to you guys to actually want to put in the effort it's up to all of us to come together and communication and understanding are the two biggest problems any clan has with having infrastructure. I'm so lucky I haven't seen drama with this next wave of people who've come in this clan. This clan is so old, let me tell you one thing. We've had this clan reach 300 people before and it all fall apart. So I had to bust it back down to 100 people. That happened twice. That happened fucking twice. And the two reasons why it happened where I was a mountain clan one time and had to bring it back, a mountain clan one time had to bring it back. It's because every time I shoot for it, I try to expand to when I'm not ready. We didn't get the decorations done. A new update patched where now there's 10 times harder decorations. The Hema was the one of the hardest ones to get. And we always bring it back. But if we're coordinated and we communicate with each other and we're voting and we're actually being a part of the clan, we will be number one eventually. Eventually, if you guys have the same dream and want to put that effort in, that's why I want these hundred people before we become a mountain clan to actually care about the clan just a microscopic inch like just a little bit just put that little thing called effort in one hour uh, every other two every other week one hour grind one thing for the clan that's all I'm asking like literally and maybe try and rise in the ranks so you can lead by example and hopefully they do release some cool clan updates where having a higher rank does mean just not having a higher vote because that's all it is right now but um you do get to decorate you do get to build rooms and the higher rank you get and then maybe if you become a vice admiral have full access to our our resources so it's up to you guys so as far as decorating how like what rank do you need to be to decorate? Cause I just got rank eight today, and I might like I'm. I think I want to like put something in the dojo. So like what? So it's you have to start decorating? it's not mastery rank. It's your actual. We have these things called um, promotions you can gain in the clan. Everyone in the clan who joins starts in as a sub lieutenant, and they get 
instantly demoted into an ensign until they get discord or join our PSN community if they can't get discord and then they can become a sub lieutenant every time you get promoted you'll become a lieutenant then a commander then a captain then an admiral then a vice admiral then a fleet admiral and I'm the founding admiral and did you did you write this down but that was like a long speech yeah it, it was amazing <laughs> But the thing is, you can't decorate, you cannot decorate my dojo. Ten minutes, it was amazing. Thank you, I appreciate it, I try. But you can't decorate the dojo until you're a commander. I don't want just anybody deleting the whatever and being a jerk and you, you have to become a commander. You have to get promoted twice. You have to be in the discord not only, but you have to get promoted to lieutenant and you have to get promoted to a commander which is again is the easiest thing if you just get one other if you recruit one member and get them in the discord boom you're a commander now you can decorate now you can do whatever and make this clan actually look dope it doesn't matter how many decorations we get because once we become a mountain clan and then start deleting decorations all those decorations will be like times 10 what they really were and then they'll go into our dojo and then we can build with that decorations and build cooler whatever we can always change these rooms and these colors based on votes everything everything literally everything depends on voting and that's why it's imperative to raise in the ranks higher rank you are more vote you have and maybe in the future there'll be a thousand people in this clan and everyone there'll be ten vice admirals and we can't have more than ten vice admirals one vice admiral per hundred person so they'll be voting and they'll be like, this guy is a shitty vice admiral. He doesn't do his job. Like, what are the responsibilities? We'll all vote about this. And if you don't want to really be in a complex clan like this, be stay a lieutenant. Don't decorate. Just try and help farm for some, one hour every other week. Boom. That's perfect. That's not asking for too much. Wait, Crimson, having a question. Yes. Uh, um... For like jobs, wouldn't it be like a good thing to have like people have certain, certain jobs? I know you have those. Like for people who are on a quest, like reinforcements or something like that. Yes, for, yes. For help. That is a great, great, great um, um example or a, um, idea because I was thinking about that different jobs like support, reinforcements, like your clan members actually need you but that would only work if we had enough people online and how complex would the job be we don't want to make this game a chore like you weren't at work you weren't at a, you you were supposed to be here you get demoted fuck you and then the clan has drama in it and now we're fighting with each other for no reason over a game like so the biggest key with making a successful clan is fucking trying to figure out a system that isn't work and it's fun. Like it's actually like I want to work for this clan. I want to is a a thousand players is a lot of fucking people, like real people to manage. And no matter like right now we're at 90 players by the end of the day, I'll probably recruit 10 people. And we'll be at 100 people and there's a 20 day active limit right now and that may change maybe in the future it'll be 30 maybe in the future it'll be 10 depending on the majority vote so probably never 10 i probably wouldn't vote for that because that's i'd probably be off for 10 days <laughs> but um that's basically you want to make sure that it's fun and that's the hardest part because everyone has their own definition of fun everyone has and so it's trying to be intro subjective, trying to have the best possible outcome for the majority people. And hopefully, if someone doesn't agree with what we, we what the majority agrees with, and they cause commotion, not mature, those are the people who are getting kicked from the clan because we don't want to deal with drama and name calling. That just look at the clan rules. Maybe the clan rules will change one day, but I think they're pretty solid rules in my opinion. It's just an opinion. That's all it is. But um, that's why we vote. We change. We improve always for the better. And as long as we get new people in, of course some people are going to fall inactive and get booted from the clan because they didn't tell me that they were going on vacation. That's all you have to do. You just send me a message and 
hey, I'm going to be off for more than 20 days. you got 30 days now. And if you're going to be off even longer than that, I'll definitely reinvite you when you get back. Like, And you can have your old rank back if you weren't. If you're offline for too long, though, say you're offline for three months and you then come back, I can't give you your old rank back, especially if you were a vice admiral and we got two new vice admirals that are way more qualified and active. But maybe that will change. That's why we vote. That's why I, I beg people to try and get into a high rank position, authority, lead by example. And then people will be like, wow, this guy loves this clan. This guy's actually going to be doing stuff for other people, reinforcements. Not, not just reinforcements as a job, but reinforcement. You be reinforcements. Always, someone needs help, always help clan members. We're in a clan for a reason, not to be a bunch of lone wolves. Like, we're here to actually help each other farm. And if you help someone get a Warframe, like a Prime Warframe, not only you have an extra Prime set that sell for Platinum, but you can also, that person will help you in the future, obviously. And the more people we get on Discord, I really want to use Discord more, especially the voice chat. Someone always in the voice chat to help members. Someone's always, especially when we have a thousand members in our clan, there's going to be like 20 people always in the voice chat. We're going to have like 10 voice chats, some private voice chats. Like, So clan me meetings are going to get hectic in the future for sure. There's going to be a lot to manage. That's why I need my hundred baseline people to know their shit I need everyone to know their rules I need but it's not gonna be perfect obviously I'm not expecting you guys to be all diehard Warframe fans like this is just my game and this is just my what I like to do on the side so it's the clan that's what it is um, that's the uh, gist of the decorations we gotta be just as much as uh, creative as possible like get as many decorations done as possible we have so many rooms in our dojo the energy reactors I want filled with decorations I want every inch of this dojo filled with decorations because once we increase our clan rank all those decorations that we delete will go into the vault and will be freaking rich especially when solar rails come out and we need decorations to build solar rails so decorations are key pigments the nuka hunter is a bitch she is I, I i haven't gotten one yet she's marked me but the drop chance is dumb zanuka beacon i don't know how to get that that is a good wiki search that i need to do but um we need actually that would be a good idea to find some wiki, like get some people to go ahead and look some yeah. yeah honestly we need to we need to get these pigments done the more pigments we do before Railjack, I said when Railjack comes out, as long as we have three pigments done, like we did one, the last pigment when I said it, as long as we do two more pigments, Zanuka and the second hardest one, when Railjack comes out, whatever research that the dojo has that came with the Railjack update, once we finish that, well, then we'll upgrade to a Mountain Clan. But if we don't finish any pigments and railjack we still got to finish all the pigments because no matter what when we upgrade to mountain clan it's going to be even harder and even longer and yeah we'll have more people to help us but still i'd rather get it done now um it'd be way go ahead it would be way easier is all i was going to say to get it done now uh, i have a question about the game in general is this the beta of the game Yep. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, that explains a lot of, oh, a lot of the updates and stuff. Mmm. Like, mm. Oh. Yeah. Well, it depends on what you mean by update. The game has gotten a lot of, like, updates recently. I don't think it's been updated, but... I think it's been updated, if you think about it. Well, I mean, like, uh, it definitely has game. more content than a... A regular game would have like this game is like two games in one if you really want to look at the content but um, it's considered beta because it's like it, it's considered it will never leave beta the de dev said like it, it's considered they're always gonna keep it alive they're it's always gonna get updated until they like, like die once they die it's gonna be a release game and no one will be able to update it unless someone buys it but 
the, what they see Warframe going into the future is every planet being open world, you being able to fly to each planet, like that's what they're, they're trying to achieve. And it's like mind blowing to have a, the best clan in the game, in a game like that, if it's possible. Like, and that's why I'm I'm still doing this. Like, I love this game. I've been here since literally the first month they launched, but that was on PC. And it's just uh, a lot of work, a lot of time, and doing it by yourself takes even longer. So that's why we have clans. That's why and eventually there'll be clan updates obviously we all live together like this the game is built upon clans and the devs are just realizing that so b being in a clan is going to be a lot more um valuable once railjack launches and you guys are going to see that like especially since they made the update where you can donate resources in the actual vault instead of donating them to the decorations and then having to destroy the decoration and then that going to the vault so you can donate things and get promoted that way which is cool too we'd love you for donating and you can recruit which is also cool we need players I'm gonna have to do so much more research on this game now <laughs> I, I, honestly i have not I, I, i'm a high level i'm not a high level at all really but i don't know half the things that i need to do learn to actually play the game successfully i think oh yeah there's so much into this game especially with trading and lore like it's so pop like oh, just so much content but um another case like that where i've been around since the initial release but i kind of played on and off so there's so many systems with trading and plans that i'm just like i, I don't understand fully mm-hmm so, yeah that's what a lot of people um, i have a question <clears throat> yeah if we were to recruit somebody, would there be a an age limit? All right. So here's the thing with that. Good question. The age limit. I highly. If they're not over four or five feet. <laughs> no. All right. I highly had an issue with some kid who was like. Then I guess I gotta leave then. Four years old. So. The problem with that is maturity. The biggest, biggest rule is you have to be mature. But my universal law for maturity is many things. Name calling is the biggest one. If it's a kid who's, who always, if you, you can tell if someone's mature. And if you can't tell if someone's mature, you're not mature. Okay? <laughs> okay. That's all I got to say. So if you have a problem with someone in the clan, just look at the clan rules. Are they breaking any clan rules? If we tell them about these rules more than three times, they are out of the clan. That's all it is. Simple as that. It doesn't matter their age. If they're mature and they're chill, cool. They can be in the clan. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, but the... Um, I forget what I was about to say after... Before you had that question... Mm-hmm. So like would it would it be fun if people this is like a donating idea and like just to have fun, but like what if we split up into like groups, like groups of four, and we all went into the index and whoever got the most points in the index That is an amazing freaking idea. That is a great idea. We need a lot of screenshots. <laughs> yeah. But that is a great idea. Um, stuff like that is what we will be doing every month for the clan events. And maybe every other month if we don't get enough people to show up. But once we hit a 300 mark of members in a clan, there's going to be 20 people per event minimum. Trust me on that. I've had a mountain clan before. And it's going to be a lot of managing. And I'm going to need... Um, high-ranking officers to help me with that management so what the thing is right now if you're a captain and above you have to send me your email and if you don't want that it's literally my email is like tenonavy at gmail.com 
But if you don't want to um, send me your email, then don't. You can't be a captain because I need my captains to have a Google Doc of all of our recruits and their ranks and everything who recruits who. We all keep these records to make it more manageable. Because once we do these clan events, you're gonna be with your um, hundred every. Once we reach like 300 members, we're gonna have like every 50 people be like. Um, a team if you will and the last team will face itself kind of but these you have to keep track of your teams your records every captain's gonna have a team and every admiral is in charge of captains and vice admirals are in charge of admirals so especially once we get to a thousand members it's gonna be a lot of organization so captains once you're captain send me your email we got to keep these records that's what the responsibility is and it's not like it's hard it's just tech typing in who you recruited and who they recruited and having if that's too hard have your members the people you recruit say he these are the rules listen up this is what you have to do every time you recruit someone tell me so I can write it down so I don't have to ask who's this and who's that so it's just communication that's the biggest part about it that's why we got to get people into discord so it's all here and private messaging is a lot easier and we, I want to be more of a discord clan because Warframe doesn't do a great job of logging things so hopefully that all changes in the future hopefully we vote to make a great system and then we'll end on a little bit of voting um, right now I'm just talking about what day is the clan event next week end of the month what next Saturday is good for you guys I'm, I'm down I, it was supposed to be a while ago, but no one showed up, so didn't happen. Alright, for like the high ranks, wouldn't it be like a good idea to get some people who are like early in a clan that know the rules and know everything? Yeah. Like, it, if they just. It's just not like a matter of rank, it's like a matter of maturity and. Right. That's exactly. Clans, I've had some people like literally become like, high ranks and just do whatever the fuck they want, and it just got to clan. Mm-hmm. It'll fall on your. Well, that's the biggest thing that I want to avoid, and that's the biggest problem. That every lo the bigger you get, the harder it is, and that's why we have to keep records so we know who said what, he said, she said, type thing. Who recruited okay you're in charge of this why'd you let an immature person get by all right if you keep doing this demotions blah 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 we want to make it as fun as possible though we don't want to make it uh, tyrannical I don't I don't I don't know about the majority I don't know how it's gonna actually end up being but I want to make it as fun as possible and the biggest thing is what where's the line of what's appropriate what's not appropriate my line right now is apparent in the clan rules and um, I'll, I'll read them off right now so basically there's a 20 day active inactive limit right now 30 days if you let me know simple as that and if you're a discord um, your or your PSN username and you will have more time and that's all you gotta do if you just send me a message the active day limit goes up to 30 and it's as simple as that but any name calling of other clan members will be an instant kick lying scamming immature profanity all this stuff is super easy to find out guys like it's not like I, I trust a lot of people in this clan there's a lot of mature people I know in this clan especially most people in this chat are pretty mature and you can trust a lot of people in this clan because it's a great clan that attracts a lot of great people but um, it's the communication that when it falls apart, people get uh, put in this clan and they don't know the rules. They're not in the Discord. They don't know that this is a, what the community is all about. And so they take advantage of it or they just uh, beg for platinum. All of this thing, all these annoying dra dramatic um, outbursts, we're all trying to avoid that. The best way to avoid that is the second you recruit somebody, give them the entire rundown join the discord or join the PSN community if you can't join the discord and then you'll be promoted and then explain to them why and if you don't have time to do all that don't be recruiting people 
it's simple as that. If you bring a friend in the clan and you don't want to explain the clan rules, don't bring that friend in the clan if they're going to be like that, all right? And that's just the hardest part. We're going to go all throughout. You're going to see the bigger we get, the harder it's going to be. And voting is the biggest thing. We got to vote. We got to give ideas, every idea, even if you don't have a vote. If you're a lieutenant and you're coming to the clan meeting and you give an idea, we're going to vote on it. You may not get the vote <laughs> yourself, but maybe one day you will, you will if we vote on that way. So anyone can bring up an idea for the entire meeting to vote on it. But who's a captain in this meeting? How many captains do we have in this meeting? I'm a sub lieutenant, that doesn't really count. Right. There's there's not one captain. Captain, are you a captain? Let me let me look online to see if there's any captains. Captain, are you a captain? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say I'm a sub lieutenant too right now. Yeah, I'm only a sub lieutenant. I'm only a server manager on Discord. All right, Saint. Uh, I'm not a captain yet, but I'm gonna get there. Sainty Zoom. Yeah, I'm just the lowest rank. Are you here, Sainty? <laughs> Sainty and S S Sinclair and Sainty, my admiral and my uh, one of my captains are both online right this second playing Warframe, but they're not in the clan meeting. That just shows you how much not not communicate discommunication there is. Like, and they're on Discord. Both of them have Discord, <laughs> so the communication is the biggest problem. Who's online right now? Uh, there's like 18 people playing in the clan right now. Well, for the two I only that ever see like 18 to 20 people online. Well, yeah, there's only 100 people. Once we get to 300 max people... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm playing as right as, as right as we... Yeah. Once we get to 300 people, there's going to be like 20 to 40 people always online. And then 1,000 people, there's going to be the 100 to 200 people always online. Maybe even more if we're active. So, those are the dreams. But to be number one clan, what that really means is to be active. Because the more you kill, the more your rank in the ranking system goes up. It's, it's based on kills. And right now, we're not even on the top 10 leaderboards. And I want to be there. But I'm not worried about Storm Clan. I'm not worried about Mountain Clan where we rank. I'm worried about when we get to Moon Clan, hopefully Sun Clan, they release that, you can have 10,000 members in the clan. Probably not. But. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine how hard that would be to manage? Who would just yeah. clan? Um, the dojo would just. Oh, God. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Before we adjourn, that's not just, it's the only prime parts. What are you talking about? Before we are not bringing that up in the Discord chat, shall we? Uh, <laughs> see, see. <laughs> what? When are we doing this? Next weekend? Uh, what? This, what do you mean the opening? The, 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 the event. The epic clan race. Are we going to have it next weekend, or the weekend after, or the weekend after that? I vote I would say for next weekend. Bring... Yeah, I say the same. Uh, next weekend I might not be able to, because my mom's getting surgery and I'm going to be in the hospital with her. Alright. Well... Yeah, I won't be able to do I say, not, ne not next week is not good for me, but the weekend after would be good for me. Okay, that's what I'm hearing the majority of is the weekend let me get the date going let let get the pull up the calendar alright so yeah, the 20th 15th or 16th that would be pretty solid well 
Well, which day you think of Saturday? Saturday. I mean, Saturday is the best day that I heard. 6 p.m., 7 p.m. What? Which one? Later? I say later. I say 6 p.m. Only because not everybody's in the same time zone. Yeah. All right. Well, everyone's not in the same time zone. Yeah, that's right. That is so freaking right. Eastern time. Right now, right this second, it is 6:42. Do you want to have this, the clan event, this time exactly, like seven, like 20 minutes in the future, would be my 7 p.m. 20 minutes in the future. Would you want the event to be? I'm. I guess. I say I'm changing my opinion. I say we do clan meetings at six o'clock, and then like at seven, maybe six forty, six fifty, we start the events or like getting ready, get ready to start the event. Okay, so have a meeting. Okay, so I don't know if you guys realize, but two weekends from now is Easter weekend. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, that would be a problem. That's true. People would be out. Yeah. I just say we did three weeks from now or something like that. So the twenty. This Sunday, if everybody's well, like ready for Sunday. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't have to Sunday. rush it though. Yeah, yeah I have to read it this Sunday. We can do a meeting beforehand, like he, like someone said, and then an hour later, see who joined, and just wait a little, let people join, and if we get enough people, we actually have it. Yeah, honestly. Sure. So you're not. So you're saying the twentieth is Easter's the Eastern, whatever. How it is. Yeah, that's Easter weekend. The twenty first is Easter. Okay, so the twenty seventh. That is three Saturdays from now. Um, is does anyone have anything on the calendar? <laughs> I'm completely free. Okay. 27th. That's my one free week from wrestling. I'm stuck the next two weeks. We are going to put the day on the 27th. And we're going to start it 40 minutes ago. We're going to start a meeting. And then 20 minutes in the future, current daytime, we're going to have the event. So what that means is start a meeting at 6 o'clock, same day, same time as today. Same time we started this meeting. And then we're going to have an event at 7. Do you want me to start typing that down into the chat to let everyone know? Yeah, you can do that for sure. Um, 7 p.m. Eastern Time is the event. 6 p.m. is the meeting. And that we is... Have a, we should have a chat for um, notifications like that, like events. On the 27th, right? That is a great I idea. That is a great that idea. That sounds good to me. What? Good to me. What's what's the chat called? Just notifications. I I don't know. Maybe maybe like events and make it where like only certain people can type in it, so you people can just read it, so you don't. No one really types in it. How do I make it so what? I don't know. Just just make it um. Just tell people not to type in it. Oh, like, okay. let's say you tell me to type in it, then yeah, but no one should type in it. Just yeah, obvi for events. obviously. All right, I created the tab. You can go ahead and write in it and just say um, 6 p.m. Or actually start with the date, April 27th, 2019, What's if you want. It? It's the Great Clan Race event. And Whoa, you said, uh, you said 27th? Yeah. That's the day after Avengers Endgame comes out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is so true, though. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, I'm still down. It's just, it's just, still, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to, like, yeah. The day Talk. after Avengers Endgame comes out. We all know movies are better at night anyway, so, yeah, just watch it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the clan event won't last too long. It probably lasts 30 minutes. But, um... I think that's gonna be the best date in April. How will you do the clan event? Will it be, like, in the dojo where you 
get to fight somebody three times or two times? Yes, yeah, so everybody in the clan right now, everybody in the dojo right now, I'm Equinox jumping up and down. Everybody follow me and I will take you to what the clan event's gonna be. So we're just gonna. Um, I can't. Uh, it's okay. My brother's on, but it's I okay. I don't have a key. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry I'm, if I'm, you. I'm, I'm worried now, but I'm, I'm going downstairs to fast to get something, but I'll be back up there. This will be Grimson. just for the people who are here, and those people will know, so you can ask them. And it obviously will be in the meeting, um, the 27th, and we'll talk about all of it, all the rules, everything then, too. Hey, Crimson. So, 6 is the meeting, and 7 is the event? Yeah, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So this is where the clan meeting room is going to be held in and we are going to start at the end of one of these hallways and run to the other end and the first person to make it to one of the ends wins. If you need to find it, Crimson showed me around the first day I came here and I've been coming here for a couple days now like memorizing where everything is. So if you need to find it, just uh, ask me and I'll help you out. Omega Shinran on PSN, but Kid Flash on Discord. But yeah, this uh, there's so many obstacles. Um, it's pretty cool to uh, see who's gonna get to the other side first. And maybe if we ever repeat this this event, we're gonna change the obstacles up, add more obstacles or whatnot. But we're not gonna do this event like every freaking other month. We're gonna do this probably like once or twice a year. Send her an invite, and um, every time you recruit somebody, you I would appreciate if you go to the your recruits tab and write that you recruited them, and that's going to be our captains are going to look at that and put it straight into the records on the Google Docs for eternity to know that you've recruited a person, and that's going to go towards your recruits if you want to rank up that way. The person that recruited me is, um, I'm not gonna say inactive, but he hasn't been on in like, uh, I'll say like five days. But he's not like, he's not a very inactive person. He just has school to worry about and stuff. Yeah, so do a lot of people who play this game. School, work. That's why I don't want to make it to the point where it's not fun. But, um, still, still a organized like, complex I mean, plan isn't like it's not school it's just i kind of i kind of youtube every once in a while so i have to revolve around games and what i play oh yeah i heard that um i'm gonna have meetings every day like anytime but like on the weekdays after like three or four cause, like i ask for and i just want to get off mm -hmm. that's all joined our clan hold on awesome the only issue I can see myself running into is it's a little bit more difficult for me to be online as often during the summer. Mm hmm. Right, because I've been a little bit more busy. Yeah. I don't know. I may not run into the inactivity issue because I can see myself getting on. And all you have to do is just log on and make it look like you were online. Like. Not that. It just depends on what happens. Mm-hmm. Alright, she's still pending. Good, good, good. And How definitely send her the Discord link, or I will try and get her on Discord, and that will make you rank up too, in a certain way. And if you rank up as a recruiter, you can switch to the promoter, or you can switch to the donator if you really wanted to. Um, Crimson, how's that in the clan events? What do you mean, how's what in the clan events? Oh, I haven't. You know what I think would be a good idea. Check. You know what I think would be a good idea. What's up? I think you should make a uh, Google Docs with all the rules and that's good. Regulations and everything you just said, and uh, put the link in it inside the Discord, or like uh, make another make another like sub part with important that's called important information. Mm-hmm. That is. In the Discord, though, like with the rules that is a good one that is a good idea but it should be a google doc you say 
Honestly, uh, whatever whatever is best. I just know that out of everything that you said, I'm not, I'm sure I missed something. I you know I, I'm not gonna remember all of it. So. No, obviously, that I posted. I'm gonna post this clan meeting on YouTube. So um, I don't know how well the uh, voice is gonna pick up, but um. I'll post the link in Discord and you can rewatch the meeting if you want. But um it's basically What's me the... us talking and me standing still. <laughs> hey Crimson. Um if you go into clan